You know those tech products you get ads for on TikTok and every other social media site? Yeah, those. I bought a ton of them to see what's good and what's bad so you don't have to. Like this. This is a finger bot. And this is a smart controller for any buttons and switches you might have. I've seen people use them do this, or maybe you could attach it to a lamp or any other button that you want this thing to do for you. And apparently, according to this, it does work with the assistant and the other one that we won't name because I don't want yours to go off on you right now. And that that's the unboxing experience. There it is. It's a tiny little thing. And look, it has 3M tape for you to double attach it to something. Now, how would I want to use this? Ugh, just so happen to have this. Ugh. Just handily ready, right there. And for my use case, we're gonna try to see if this will work. Put it right there and see how well this works. We're gonna scan our QR code for our mobile app. Boop, Mesh Hub. Ooh, it only has a 2.0 rating. What am I installing on my phone right now? Okay, we have the Mesh Hub app open. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh no, I don't want to register. I, I just want it to work, but sure, you can get my info. Don't look. What? <laughs> It just went, man. Okay. All right. So we found our FingerBot Plus. This is a FingerBot Plus. It says connecting. Oh, paired successfully. Oh, whoa, 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 but that. Let's call it FingerBot PC. Now let's see what the experience looks like. It definitely just worked, right? It's like just barely too high to click the button. No way. It worked. Why is it not working now? Okay, so, so far, FingerBot, a lot of people go crazy about these on TikTok, but this has a divot, so it won't actually press this. Nothing. All right, man, I really, you know, I just like parched, man. I really need to turn on my, my AC unit. <laughs> it works. The AC's on. I didn't even have to get up and do anything. So I got to point the remote at the AC and put the FingerBot on it. FingerBot, out of the box, a little limited. Apparently it does have attachments though that maybe can make it better. But I don't have those. All I have is this. So FingerBot, I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down, especially at $30. Honestly, they should just rename it to FingerBot at this point. It's just that bad. <laughs> okay, next up, we have this magnetic phone holder. I think it basically, oh. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Oh, boy. Let's see. Okay, we're good there. Right about right there. Boom. All right, moment of truth. Is my phone going to fall off? Hey, it didn't. That's actually really handy. Like, <laughs> ironically. All right, I'm going to take it off. I'm sure there's supposed to be like some long hold. I'm not doing all that. But boom. Oh, no, though. I put it to where I can see it. I don't like that. Why did I mess? I messed it up. Oh, I can just do that. Easy solution. All right, never mind. Okay, so looking at accessories, it actually has metal rings to put on like phone guests that are probably older and don't have MagSafe. The key thing here is I put my case back on. Nobody likes using stuff where you have to take your case off. So is it going to work? It does. It's case approved, at least with my God of War case here. So, all right, with that note, and we've now discovered it can go over there so it doesn't bug me and I don't see it over the top of my screen and I'm not using it. I thought this was gonna be a dud, but actually I'm giving it a thumbs up. So this Cloud Valley magnetic phone holder was $15.99 and at that price, it's nanotech approved. Next up, I see these everywhere. They are auto tracking tripod streams, making short form content, all of that. Let's see if it actually works. So this was $40, it says no app is required. It has a lithium battery in it that apparently can last up to eight hours. Oh, and it actually does have, you're gonna attach it to a tripod, which is cool. We're gonna put this on it for stability. Well, now I'm gonna let the AI know what I look like as I turn this on. Oh, it's on. Okay, it is following me, hang on. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, that is actually, oh, it actually moves pretty quick. I mean, you can definitely go a little too fast, but wow. Okay, I, what else do we have to say on this one? This one's, that's impressive. I'm gonna actually find use for this. Wait, wait a minute. Dude, short form content is blowing up, is going so crazy. YouTube shorts, all kinds, dudes, all kinds of stuff with this. My job is getting less and less stable by the minute. <laughs> I bought all of these myself. None of this is sponsored. So if it feels like I'm gassing this up, is there even a company on this? There is not, but this is really cool. I think this is cool tech, so approved. Okay, for our next product, geez, do I see this literally everywhere. It is one of these cables that has like the magnet, leave it in the bottom of your phone and then you can unplug and go and it's supposed to be way easier to like plug your stuff up. I'm not a firm believer in this, so we're gonna find out right now. Okay, so it just has your, your three different plugs just like chilling in there. You have that USB, USB-C, and iPhone. Okay, so this thing was $17. So it does have this to put these into. This fits. 
this fits? Question mark? USB-C. No, too big. Now, let's test it. Let's see if it works. It's a decently long cable. Yeah, it actually is surprisingly long. Okay, so it's lighting up blue right now, letting me know like it's got power. Let's see if this works with the case, right? It appears to work with the case. Moment of truth. It is not charging it. All right, case is off now. Let's see. Yeah, it works. But my case is too thick. Really unfortunate. The I would... case wouldn't fit on over it, would it? I think it just popped it through the case. Wait, wait, wait. If that worked, hang on. Oh! Good enough. Man, look at Josh. Okay, all right. But that's not all. Can I charge a controller? Now this actually I think would be one of the better use case scenarios. I don't know if I want to run around with my phone with one of the, like, you know, like, I don't know if this is like really ideal for a phone, but like maybe on a controller, it's charging it. Okay, that's not bad. All right, and now for the USB-C test. I assume it's gonna work. It works. So the one thing that I've heard about these that can be bad, is that if the magnet part breaks off, you just have the end of a USB-C cable in your phone because the magnet portion of it broke off. It's the only bad thing about those, but right now, I'm never gonna wanna run around with a phone like this, but on a controller? Actually, yeah. That's not bad. I'm gonna go kind of like this. I don't necessarily love it, I don't hate it either. It works, I guess, but like running around with these in your phone, like this is not ideal. And trying to take this out right now, I don't know why I put even put it back in there because it's not the like easiest experience. Hang on, I kind of am afraid if I try to take the case off, it's gonna break it. There we go. Yeah, I would say that part of the experience is not exactly ideal. Something like for a controller, cool. Anything else? Eh. Next up, we've got a short form video roller, remote music controller thing. <laughs> Let's check this out. Boom. Solutions for some issues. Oh, solutions for some issues. I don't necessarily love that. Okay. How big is this? Hang on, wait. No way is this it. W what? It's so, it's so tiny. It's like a ring. I don't know what I expected, but it was a lot bigger than that. <laughs> what? So is this the case? Okay, so it goes in here and it charges and there's USB-C on the back. These are apparently everywhere on TikTok. So it's like, sure, let's try it. Here we go. Okay, so long press the middle key until the red and blue lights start flashing. Okay, there we go. DO1 Pro. All right, it is connected. Now it does tell me that we have to do this on iOS. We have to go to accessibility. This is already too much, but okay. Touch, assistive touch. No way does that have to be on. There is way too much to this, but we're about to find out. All right, let's go to shorts. It works. <laughs> it does in fact work. Hey, let me see if I can go back up. I'm gonna watch John Cena. I wanna go to the next one. Okay, it finally worked. I mean, it works. We can pause and we can go between shorts. All right, so I will say if you're on iOS, I would say this is probably no-go for most people because there's a little dot now from the assistive touch. I feel like the fact that that has to be on for most iOS users is probably a no-go. This was like, it was too much to make this work. Experience on Android might be a little bit better, but who is this for? I'm giving this a no. I'm sorry, just no. All right, so next up, it's a desk item, which is a flame aroma diffuser. This is almost going to be like a science experiment because I think we're going to need water. Be sure to open the shell before filling, pouring water in the specified position. So add water, pour water. What? Hang on, let me just look. Oh gosh, I, I actually have to read. As a Dragon Ball fan, this is gonna be really hard. I need to install this. Oh man, that does not hold a lot for sure. Okay, so that's done. I, I guess I'm gonna put this on it now, right? This is our flame. And then we're gonna take our USB cable provided and our plug-in provided. How long does something like this usually take? Oh, it's already doing it. Whoa, wait. That is actually pretty cool. It makes so much more sense now. That's lit, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on, dude. The aesthetic from that is sick. You're about to see this in a desk setup soon. I'm about to ruin the like immersion here. Interesting, man. You can actually make it brighter. Okay. I am unironically giving this an actual thumbs up. That's actually really neat. And yeah, at $32, right now I don't even have the essential oil. Apparently you need that too. Like it adds in another layer of like the sort of vibe you'd be getting from that. I think this is actually a very aesthetically pleasing thing to add to your desk. And then also you add that layer is actually cool. All right, so next up, and I don't know why, but this product would not leave me alone. It kept being in my feeds. It's the couch console. You're like, Nano, what's a couch console? Yeah, I don't know. Let's find out together. Oh look, it even says, Start here. Did I say thank you? Wow, okay, wait. They are currently winning in terms of that. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, is the whole thing coming out right now? Oh, what? The bottom and top plastic. I was expecting like this to come off and then the whole, the whole thing just came out. Oh, because it is literally stapled together on every corner. Why? 
Okay, I went with the black and orange. They have several other colors. This was $69.99, so it was a little up there. Okay, let's check this out. So we've got CC storage. Oh, that's some weight to it. So you could store like remotes, I would assume would be what they were going for there. I did see where it advertised that they had a cable ran, so you could like put this into some sort of like portable power bank. We'll let that hang out in here and then you can plug your devices in to here. And then you have like this, which is apparently dishwasher safe and you put like snacks in it so you can cover your snacks so <laughs> they won't fall out I guess. And I guess you put it back in to sort of be a spacer between that and your cup holder which apparently you can put a cup in that and it won't it like moves so it won't fall. Let's go test it out. Hey yo what's up? Wait are we supposed to be filming right now because I'm kind of like preoccupied you know with the couch console. My, my drink doesn't fall because like watch. Oh 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 <laughs> couch console gets a thumbs up. Okay, this actually could work with our couch console. I feel like these are literally everywhere. This is a USB cable that displays the wattage on the end of it. Because yes, it has an actual display. So let's check it out. All right, moment of truth. When I plug this in, it should tell us how much it's pulling to charge the phone. Oh, it actually is. Well, that's pretty cool. 25 watts. Yeah, I don't know. I've gotten so many ads for these and I think Marquez like covered it once or something like that, which I'm sure made more and more companies want to make one, but there you go. It displays how much wattage you're pulling to charge your device, whatever that device might be that supports USB-C. So that's actually cool. And the cable itself, a little expensive for cable, but it's actually nice, sturdy. It's got a display. We'll give it a thumbs up. Good product. Okay, these are, I seem to showing up because you can get them for way cheaper. And these are the Razer Anzu smart glasses. They debuted at $200 and almost immediately dropped to 60 because guess what? Nobody wants to pay $200 for blue light filtering glasses that you can listen to music on. It also has, you can change out the lenses and they can be sunglasses. So I guess they come default with the blue light filtering and then you can make them sunglasses. And it does have a mic so you can take phone calls and talk to people. It has speakers right here on each side that are down firing into your ears. Let's test the quality here. They're okay. They're a little flat. I guess at $60, I would be like, okay, these are okay speakers for a $60 pair, but they're a $200 pair of glasses that they had a discount because I'm sure they were sitting in a warehouse just like, we gotta get rid of these. So these are not $200 <laughs> level speakers. These are, yeah, they're so flat. They're very similar to like a VR headset down firing like an Oculus, but they're nowhere near as clear. Okay, and it looks like this is how they're charged. So that's how you have to charge them. My guess is because battery, battery, I bet there is not any sort of wiring running those across. So it has to be plugged in like that to charge it. That is a very, I feel like not convenient thing. Like I would just rather have this a USB-C plug somewhere because I've already got a USB-C plug everywhere in the house versus having to always have this on me, but it does have a secret little pouch that they come in. So I guess there's that. I'm gonna say the fact they're a $200 pair of glasses and they're trying to sell them to you for still 60 bucks. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give it a no. That's a no. The speaker should be so much better. And also they are a little bulky. Like obviously the battery has to fit in there too. I, I can see a use case for them, but they need to be better. Okay, so for this final one, it is a canvas light influencer thing. Maybe it's why I'm being suggested this. You might be like, this isn't on my feed. Well, it was on mine and it looked cool. So here we are. Oh, oh, it's two pieces. Invest in you, create today. All right, what do we got? Okay, cool. Base, oh, that's literally it. Okay, and not a base. That's actually kind of cool. Thing is tight, bro. This is definitely in there. Okay, so this thing has a spot for your phone and then it has a ring light and it's literally meant to be like a desk lamp slash you should be ready to go to make some sort of, I say short form content, but I guess you could probably turn it also landscape. Oh, wow. Okay, that is very interesting. Moment of truth, which I, I think is definitely gonna work. Okay, you make it brighter, dimmer, and you have white light but blue light, very, very white light, and then very warm. And then I guess you can adjust the, wow. Okay, quick little test. Yo, today guys, we're looking at this screwdriver and this box cutter. This is such a specific product. This is for such a specific group of people, especially at $170. But this product is really cool. And if you're someone that's making a lot of short form content, especially a lot of unboxings, this is gonna make your whole workflow way faster because your light is built in. Put your phone on there and boom, you're making your video. It's gonna get a thumbs up from me. And that's the video. You can check out another awesome video by clicking this one right here, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.